Hello, uh, this is a short video on uh, different addressing modes that are possible with the MIPS IAC. So uh, in this lecture, we'll discuss about five different addressing modes, but uh, that can be extended to more than five, uh, depending on uh, how exactly you are accessing an operand. So addressing modes are uh, nothing but a way to find out an operand. Okay, and uh, the operand can be in register or memory, or it can be just a constant which is all already available in the instruction, right? So this is the first uh, addressing mode, which is called the immediate addressing mode. As you have already seen, uh, immediate addressing mode deals with the constant, so the operand is already available in the instruction itself, right? So this is uh, pretty simple. Next, we'll look at the register addressing mode. Even uh, this we have already looked at where uh, the content of a register is actually the operand. Right? Whatever you want to operate on uh, is uh, present in one of the registers. Again, uh, pretty simple. Then uh, we deal with uh, something where we actually go to memory and uh, fetch data from a given address and the address is actually specified by register, right? So that, uh, brings to the base addressing mode where what we are doing is we are taking the content of a register so for example let's register s2 and then we are also taking the constant or address which is provided by the instruction itself uh, depending on uh, where exactly it's jumping you you uh, do a plus or minus so if you have minus four here so you go for minus here and then finally, uh, that will give you uh, the address at which you have your operand. Okay, so if I remove the notion of this particular uh, constant or address, then this becomes reading the content of registers two, and that will give you uh, the address to get the uh, operand from memory. So that is also known as the indirect addressing because this register is actually providing an indirection to get the data from memory. Uh, finally, uh, as you have already looked at some of the branch instructions, uh, which mostly they jump based on the PC. So in the previous uh, addressing mode, you are taking a base register, but now that register is replaced by something specific, which is a program counter. So now depending on uh, where you jump, the address will be the label which is already provided in the instruction plus the content of the current program counter based on that it will go to the memory to get the operand so in this case the operand is actually the uh, next instruction right uh, that uh, you want to fetch from the memory so this is uh, typically used in uh, the branch instructions where, where uh, you need to jump to a different part of the core okay the last is a uh, bit subtle. So this is called pseudo direct addressing mode. Here, what we are doing is we are concatenating the content of program counter and the address provided uh, in the instruction itself. So if you can uh, go through the MIF sheet, uh, you will find that jump in link. It actually concatenate upper bits of program counter with the address which is already provided by the instruction collectively it, it will give you an address from which you will uh, actually get your uh, operand so in this case operand is again you are you are jumping into some subroutine so you will actually jump to that particular uh, address in uh, memory so overall these are the five uh, different addressing mode uh, you can you can actually play with uh, these addressing modes to come up with your own uh, variants of addressing modes but but uh, these are kind of the addressing modes in uh, MIPS with that uh, thank you